Welcome to our first video in this series on computing areas beneath curves. There are quite a few steps we need to take to fully grasp this concept, and so this int introductory video aims to get you acclimated to this conversation. Let's begin by taking a look at this graph. Suppose we were asked to compute the area between the curve and the x-axis. And it shouldn't take long to notice that we can use our knowledge of shapes to complete this problem. From the very beginning, we should see that we're dealing with a triangle, nice and plainly here. When we're dealing with an area of a triangle, so let's go ahead and connect everything. So we're connecting this triangle, you know, from here down the y-axis, and then from zero all the way to eight, it seems. And so now that we have this triangle, we can easily compute the area of a triangle by using our knowledge that the area is equal to one half of the base times the height. And so our base, we notice it goes from zero to eight. So the difference between that is eight. And the difference between 0 and 4, well, that's just 4. And so we have everything we need. And so we can quite simply go ahead and say that the area is equal to 1 half multiplied by 8 multiplied by 4, which 8 times 4 is 32, or 1 half of 8 is 4, either way. But this will be 16. And we can just say square units. But either way, 1 half times 8 times 4 will give you 16 square units. And that is the area beneath this curve, between the curve and the x-axis. Now here's what we did and why it's important. When we computed the area beneath the curve from x equals zero to x equals eight, we've essentially did the, we've done the following. And so pay attention. What we've done is we've computed a definite integral from zero to eight of this function, f of x, and I'm going to tack along this dx right here. But essentially what this means, this definite integral, so this is what the symbol means right here, this definite integral from 0 to 8 is essentially computing the area beneath a curve from 0 to 8. That's what this means. The area of from blank to blank, from 0 to 8. f of x, well, that's our function. That's what we're taking the area beneath. And the dx, this is what we're taking the quote area with respect to and now this isn't necessarily correct the dx portion of this this isn't necessarily correct but for the sake of this introductory video this is completely fine to state that this is what we're taking the area with respect to and this will make much more sense in future videos because that's what this video is all about we're building that groundwork and basic understanding of the definite integral which is just computing the area and how we can compute areas beneath curves this example only used lines. And in the next videos, we'll introduce us to ways to at least estimate areas underneath all types of curves. This is very similar to how we can use estimated rates of change, and then we used the instantaneous rate of change, which we call the derivative. Except this time, we're conversating about estimating areas, and then we're gonna build off of this and look at computing exact areas, which is the definite integral. So one more time, the definite integral represents the area beneath a curve, you know, between one point and another. And so with that said, there's a lot to cover, and we'll make it easy for you to begin mastering it all, so long as you carefully watch the next videos and soak it all in. See you there.